Hi everyone, hope you got on okay with last lesson's work. So today we're going to do some more practice on it. Now last time we looked at um, increasing sequences, so they started small and got bigger. Today we're going to look at decreasing sequences, so where they start big and get smaller. Okay, um, now I'm going to do a quick recap first of all on how to find the nth term and then I'm going to go through some examples with you of decreasing sequences and finding the nth term. So, the nth term then, if you remember rightly from my last video, what you had to do was you had to find the difference between them each time. So this pattern, it was plus five. Okay, so I added five every time. So this meant it was my five times table. So it was five N. Okay, so what I did last time was I wrote the times table that I needed to compare the new pattern to um, above the sequence. So my 5n represents my 5 times table. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so um, I would write here now, I need to figure out how it's gone from the 5 times table to the new sequence. Well, actually, we've taken away 7 because we've gone from 5 to negative 2, 15 to 8, 20 to 13, and so on. So it was take away 7. Okay, the next ones. Now, first of all, we need to work out the difference. Okay, so this is obviously this is now a decrease in sequence. Okay, so there's one difference to how you would do this. So I can see that it is taken away to each time. Okay, so the nth term is now going to be negative 2n. Okay, so now what I need to do is um, I need to find the difference. Now I need to see how my negative two times table has been altered to get to this pattern. So I would need to write out my negative two times table. So it would be negative two, negative four, negative six, negative eight, negative ten. So how has my sequence changed? Okay. Well, to go from negative 2 to 9, I would need to add on 11. And does that work anywhere else? Let's try negative 10 to 1. Yeah, I would add 11. When you're doing a decrease in sequence, usually the number that's added on the end is quite big. Okay? So just don't be, don't be alarmed if it's a big number. Okay? Right, let's do another one. So the next one, this one is going down in threes. So my nth term, we're going to start with negative 3n, okay? And I'm going to compare it to my negative 3 times table. So negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, negative 12, negative 15. So how would I get from negative 3 to 13? I would need to add on 16. Okay, does that work? Yeah, let's check this one. Negative 15 plus 16 gives me the 1. So on the end here, I would need to write plus 16. Okay, the last one. Um, this one goes into the negatives. That doesn't make a difference. Okay, so I would figure out what it's going down by. Uh, it's taking away 5. Take away 5, yeah. So it's going down in fives, this one. So I would write negative 5n. So let's write out our negative 5 times table. Negative 5, negative 10, negative 15, negative 20, negative 25. And how do I get from the negative 5 times table to our sequence? Well, if I'm on negative 5 and I want to get to 6, I need to add 11. So this one would be negative 5n plus 11. Have a go at the questions yourself now.